What is up guys, iHackers Pro here and today I'm going to be bringing you um, a downgrade tutorial how to downgrade from iOS 7 with proof that it actually does work um, as you can see my, my eye device is here and plugged into the computer I'm running iOS 7 beta 2 as you can see um, I'm going to my general About. And there you go guys, as you can see I am iOS 7 uh, Okay guys, so let's start the downgrade tutorial um, You will need to go to the website and downgrade and download um, IAPSW 6.1.3 if you're on iPhone 4 or 4S Or 6.1.4 if you have an iPhone 5 Now, I'm going to show you the date today so that's currently it's the Sunday 14th of July 2013. Uh, this is just going to be proof that downgrading actually still does work on iOS 7. If uh, iOS 7 is a beta, so there will be lots of bugs and stuff. So as you can see, my iPhone's plugged in. It's iOS 7. Um, so what you want to do is you want to hit if you're on Mac, you want to hit Alt Restore or Shift uh, restore if you're on Windows. Um, I'm sorry about the camera being like all wobbly and stuff, guys. I haven't got myself a tripod yet, and I'm saving up to now. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I'm gonna hit Alt restore. So I have to do this. Make this. Sorry. There you go. I have Alt restore there, and I need to go onto my Windows. There we go. So that's my IPSW. As you can see there. 6.1.3, I'm going to click open, yes, I want to restore, so as you can see it is extracting software, currently no um, problems yet, and guys when this um, thing actually does that I'm going to stop recording and I'll come back right at the end of it I will show proof of the activation and stuff so it does work and there's no um, problems so as you can see it is now saying verifying store with Apple I am with iOS 7 there it's downgrading it says you've changed the settings for this iPhone would you like to apply these changes uh, I do not want to apply those changes so as you can see, the restore is working. Pairing iPhone for restore. There's currently no problems yet. As you can see, my iPhone is going into DFU mode or recovery mode, whatever, whichever one you want to call it. So there you go. You see the Apple logo and the DFU symbol. So this is working guys, it's still currently working, and there you go, the Apple logo has changed to iOS 6.1.31, um, so I'm just going to stop it here guys, and I'm going to continue it when uh, this bar comes near to the end. Okay guys, it's nearing the end of the um, iPhone restore, as you can see, it's still saying iOS 7, restoring. Uh, iPhone firmware that just finished there and it is up to there. There's currently been no errors or anything like that. If you do receive an error, um, I'll suggest you put the, your device into DFU mode. One thing I did forget to mention is that you want, I suggest that you back up your stuff while doing this because the only way to downgrade is you have to completely factory reset your device. Um, uh, we'd like to thank you guys for just reaching over 200 subs. Uh, we that should be more, it hasn't updated yet. But, um, please like, comment if you like our wallpaper art or anything like that, our logo. Um, we also do do Android things, how to get Android apps. Uh, it's much easier than Apple. Um, we're still offering the Prestige Master Glitch. Uh, we have currently two intros which you want to use. Uh, one we have stolen from some guy, and we're currently waiting his permission to use it. Um, uh, 
if this um tutorial works works for you guys, would uh, greatly appreciate it if you'd um share it with your friends. Uh, I'm currently recording on a Samsung Galaxy S3, so if you're wondering what type of camera it is, is that uh, I haven't got a tripod for it yet, as I've um said before, but um yeah. I will also be showing you the activation screen for this so you believe that this is legit and I didn't just get a different phone or something like that. So as you can see it's still continuing to restoring iPhone firmware, it's just under halfway, nearly finished over here. This is an iPhone 4 by the way guys, not an iPhone 4S. Um, um, this will work on all betas and um, all uh, iPhone so I can get iOS 7 compatible. Um, I will be uploading a video on how to get iOS 7 and installing bypassing the Apple UDID and Apple Developers account check. Uh, me and my friend found out a way how to do it and we we'll, would we'll be happy to share it with you guys. Um, so uh, it's nearing the end there and it's just skipped to the end which is great. And it's saying See, as you can see there, it says your iPhone has been installed to factory settings and it is restarting. So there you go, guys. Thank you for um, checking out this video. As you can see, it is downgrading and it's booting back up. I will be showing you the activation process. So I'm just going to pause this video for now and when it gets to the activation screen, I'll continue. Thanks, guys. Okay, guys, so the phone has just finished booting up. As you can see, it's on the setting up screen. I'm sorry guys, I have to do this with one hand. I just need to select. Okay, I'm just going to pause it for now. Okay guys, so I've just entered in my Wi-Fi password. It's saying set up as a new iPhone on here because you've stored it. So I'm going to click next here. Uh, I usually disable location services. Um, so, yep. Okay guys, so as you can see. Set that up now. Yes, skip. So as you can see, guys, the downgrading still works on iOS 7. I don't find iOS 7 that bad, but I'm, I don't use my phone that a lot. So, um, so if you some people use their phone a lot. Okay, guys. So as you can see, it's fully fixed and everything. Um, it's not iOS 7 anymore. I'll just prove to you that's iOS 6.1.3. Sorry guys. Okay guys, as you can see it says I version 6.1.3. Uh thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe if you have any problems or um have questions, just comment below or message us and we'll try our best to um fix it guys. So thanks for watching.